about Russell and uh, Barry Robin as the two people and I suppose the greatest game or the greatest competition in the game of football I've ever seen was uh, Russell and Barry. Uh, they were opposed that uh, Russell was playing centre half back and Barry was playing centre half forward for North Adelaide at Prospect and to me that was the greatest game or the greatest competition I've ever seen in a game of football. Russell won the day, it was the best game of, uh, as a centre half back that I've ever seen anyone play. Was his contribution to Port Adelaide in the last 15 years, how would you describe it? Well, I, you know, Russell has just fitted in. When he became a centre man, you could say that he was, uh, uh, he was going to be responsible for about 32 kicks in the day, and that was on an average, and sometimes they'd go into the 40 area, and a person that's contributing this sort of way means that he's a match winner in his own right. Do you think Russell Lever would have been any different sort of a footballer had he played for another club but for Port Adelaide? Yes, I, I, uh, you know, I've seen so many other players that uh, have come into football and you think that you'd love them there and you see them decline because they they haven't got the attitude of strike, hit, you know, and, and play football in its total effort. And, uh, and Russell, uh, you know, he was tutored and disciplined to play the football in the total effort and I think this, this has been part of his ability to, you know, to perform. Easily beat the base centre. Great catch, Russell Eber. Magnificently judged Mark Russell Eber. A good, steady, solid game by the captain of Port Adelaide. And he's one of the reasons they're 47 points in front. Play out to bring it back. And he'll come to the come grandstand to side. Side. Ebert gave him the call. Here's the lead from Ebert. Has he got it? He has. He's a great mark. Then the second. Barton again towards the half forward line. Oh, oh Ebert. Ebert. Oh, beautiful! He's beaten him twice from the front and then he gets behind Howard and marks over the top. Fragamini's kick. Ebert on the lead off. Good, strong mark, Russell Ebert. It's it right down towards the square. Leaping up. Oh, Ebert! He's lifted, he's got Lehman with a chance. Bodies at will. Tries to get it up. He's a bit half-hearted now. He's approached as he's beaten for it by Daryl Kale. That was well done. Handball's good to Taylor. Kick going down the line, finds Boston, the new player on. He gets a quick handball to Gerlach. Port Adelaide into attack. They need a goal. Over to Ebert. He puts one hand out. He's over it now. Running in there. He's kicked it himself. And that was brilliant play by the 1971 McGarry Bentley. Humberto gathers. Passes for Rodney Roblin. He's beaten for the mark by the brilliant Ebert. Ebert's been switched to Barry Roblin in the hope he'll hold the champion in check. Their battle should be a highlight from here on. Are you happy with your star player Russell Ebert playing at centre half back? Well, I think if we had five Russells, I'd like to play in the five fewest positions down the centre. We've only got one, and uh, we've been fairly, you know, uh, uh, unbalanced across the half back line, and Russell has balanced it up. He's a ball player, and he gets the ball and can do something with uh, really uh, coming back and rebound from there. Ten pass on to Felicia. Drops it in low towards Ebert. Ebert tackles back towards Felicia. White waiting on the ball, light red at well. Geez, quick once it hits the deck. Oh, Ebert, Ebert goes into the goals, and it'll be six points on the board for the main prize. Ebert, Ebert, Ebert again. Oh, look at him, down ball. Look at him, goes. It's Wally Mays. He gets it to light. Millard's beaten him, as Ian Aitken's voice told you earlier. Tap on by Ebert. A great game from him today. Over fights Treadway. Back to Ebert. I bet he'd love to kick a goal. Here's his chance. Steers it up there. And the Port fan loved him to have got that one. And Davies hasn't been on the ball much since the first quarter. Taken there by Ebert. If this fellow fires, it'll be all over. Good night, Nurse. As it goes looking across here for Ebert. Ebert will have Nelson after him, but he breaks cleared as the Port Adelaide champion. Over the back of the pack it goes. Taken there by Russell Ebert. Jill McGarry medalist. Round he goes. Left foots it down. Over to Matt. And this is why Ebert was one of the best on the ground last Saturday, because he kicks the position all the time. Carroll's kick. Oh, Ebert, one hand. Magnificent mark up in front of his opposition. Hooks it back, and he was the player they were looking for. A beautiful control by Ebert. Look at that. Jeez, champion. To represent South Australia in interstate matches is a great honour. Ebert has achieved this with great success, having played 26 interstate matches over a period of nine years. He was state captain in 1977 and also captain Port Adelaide to a premiership in the same year. In 1979, a brief move to Melbourne saw him playing in the VFL. He was a member of the North Melbourne football team under coach Ron Barassi. He played a total of 26 games for the Roos. Teamwork and stable administration is the key to the success of Port Adelaide. Former Secretary and General Manager Bob McLean describes Ebert's contribution to the club. Well Bob, you've been involved with Port Adelaide Football Club for many, many years. How would you describe Russell Ebert's contribution to this club? 
Well, without a doubt, uh, any player that can chalk up a record like Russell uh, has done uh, has been uh, a tremendous asset and a wonderful advertisement for the club. Uh, his, uh, his ability, he, he writes with me along with uh, Bob Quinn, who a lot of people may have forgotten now, and uh, Barry Robran uh, for sheer skill, uh, they, they are the three in my book. Well, Bob, what do you think has made Russell Lever such a great footballer? Well, he's uh, dedicated himself to the game. He's uh, played the game as he's trained. Uh, he's an object lesson on the training track to any young player, and uh, he possesses skills that, uh, well, everybody would like to possess. He is a more mature person now than he was uh, when he first came naturally. I think he was only about 18 when he first came here, played his first season at full forward and kicked 40 odd goals, uh, but was a uh, don't care, couldn't be bothered uh, much in his early days, but uh, these days he really puts the head down and uh, accepts a lot more responsibility than he was prepared to do when he first came here. I think you were telling me earlier that he's only missed, what, six games in 323 for Port Adelaide? A couple of years ago I took out his uh, record of games missed through injury and he has only missed six games. Now, this doesn't mean that he doesn't get hurt the same as other people do, but where again people could take a leaf out of his book, he works on his injuries, he gives himself the treatment, he makes sure that he gets treatment and that's why he's able to come up every week and play the football that he has played.